Okay, let's go. Still on. Let's go. Still, you know, so the, the beginning part of this week it was meeting, 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 meeting. Today, one meeting. Oh. Welfare. All right. Old folks' homes. All right. Inspections. Okay. But old folks' home is not the formal term for that. Do you no, know that? They call them RCHD or something like that. Uh, okay. Retirement. Okay. There is a... Actually, there is a step dead. system. <laughs> okay. Uh, at the base of the system, yep. it's called the home for the aged. Home for the aged. Okay. Home Got it. Home for the aged. And that one is phasing out like right. 10 years ago. Okay. So they are no longer providing home for the aged. Okay. And then at the top of it, yeah. we have infirmary. Right. Which is... Catatonic, can't get out of in bed? The, in the hospitals. In the hospitals. It okay. is under the hospital authority uh, management. Got it. And then in <clears> between... <throat> is, that infirmary, is that what we would call palliative care? Like, you are going almost to die. Palliative, almost palliative care. Almost palliative care. Palliative care but, is the But infirmary... To be there for a long time. ...is way horrible than palliative care. Oh, okay. Yeah. If yeah. you went to an infirmary ward... Yeah. Most of the time, they don't even turn on the lights to save energy. Oh, and because, like you're comatose. And and uh, the 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 elderly patient in the infirmary usually was in pain. Uh, so they're drugged up all the time. So no, drug costs money. So they will ba- basically they will they will just say, "I'm very painful. I'm very painful." Oh, I've seen that. I had a friend of mine was in one of those wards. Oh, yeah. Yes. It, it it it's kind of like a horror movie. Into palliative care, yeah, it's a completely different story right. because you don't, you just want to help them to ease their pain, right? So okay. it, it's much better. Yeah. Anyway, but infirmary, the hospital is still obliged to to kind of treat you, right? Okay. So by treating you, you actually feel more pain. You see, you right. have to put a tube here or something. Oh, like that. In the palliative care, they would just pull your tubes and just to make sure you. you but anyway, in between the two systems, yeah. the nursing homes, yeah. people normally say the nursing homes, but there's a law called the nursing home ordinance, okay. which is owned by the Department of Health, right? Uh, which have to provide nurses. But most of the old folks' homes yeah. is called care and attention homes. Care it's called CNA. Homes. Okay. It's called CNA. CNA. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So they just give you care and some attention. All right. <laughs> And that's what the people pay for. So now, are these the ones that are uh, licensed but private? Yep. Okay. Uh, but they have public care and attention all subsidized. They have subsidized They're as well. Subsidized. Now, these are the ones... The nursing are, home and the yeah. infirmary is basically under the public sector. Right. Perfect. Completely. Completely. And then you have the... Uh, the care and attention home is a hybrid system. Okay. Where you have the private and the subsidized. The subsidized normally run by NGOs. Ah, okay. And then the home for the age. Yep. Believe it or not. Yeah. It's under the housing department. Housing department. Okay. Yeah. So which are the so ones complicated. Are, yeah, so which are the ones that are causing all the trouble? I mean, you know, we're talking about the CNA. Cambridge Typo Cambridge Nursing Home? CNA. Okay. CNA. CNA. Actually the Typo nursing home is a CNA home. Okay. And actually I sh- they should drop the A. Right. Because they're not paying attention. Apparently. <laughs> so this is the question. How this is what they're gonna talk to the welfare panel today, is they're getting a report on how the inspections are going. And apparently there's a bit of a battle going on because oh, yeah. The oh, inspectors yeah. like to have surprise inspections. And sometimes they'll do things like show up in the middle of the night. And, of course, the nursing home's like, well, we don't like that. Why? Uh, it'll disturb the patients. But, you know, they don't want to get caught with their pants down. And frequently, when you have surprise inspections, people are literally caught with their pants down because they're not being taken care of properly. Oh, yeah. Yes. So, you know, that we had that egregious case with the Typo Cambridge nursing home that was like in all the newspapers. Oh, yeah. It was like people being left naked outside while they were waiting their turn for bathing. I mean, it was just disgraceful. Yeah. How many inspections are we talking about? I'm going to the Blackberry today. It's in very small print. But uh, licensing office in 2013, 2014, 5,254 inspections. The year after, 4,509 surprise. These were surprise inspections. Mm. They're just like, hey, we're here. You better be doing your job. And, but you kind of get a sense that there's still a lot of work to be done. Like, they, like if they find things that aren't right, you know, they get a warning, and then they have to clean up. But one gets a sense that it's not very, you know, rigorous. Because yeah. on the other hand, you know, they can't walk in and be like, you fail. Everybody out now. No, they can't. No. Because the elder has to slip somewhere. Yes. So this is very, very tough case, you know. And if you're going to take somebody out of one place, where do you put them? I mean, finding another place is hard. So this is a very difficult situation and one I think that uh, 
you know, I'm glad our legislators are looking at it today, but I don't think there's going to be any silver bullet to get this thing fixed, regardless of how many headlines are generated by the It's a structural reform. It's yeah. a structural reform. So one to see, how, you know, this is one for people to have a look at today and, and keep, you know, just see what our, our legislators are up to on this one. All right. Keyword for today? What's the keyword for today? Attention! Attention. we got to pay attention to this one. All right. All right. Thank you. Thanks, Vincent.